Alright guys, so it is around 9.03 p.m. and the wind has picked up quite a bit. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Haley. Um, I was not expecting to vlog today, but here we are. Um, because we didn't know if the storm in the Gulf of Mexico would turn into a tropical storm. And just a few minutes ago, they updated it and they said it did. Um, and so I know you guys loved my hurricane vlog. I know some of you live in parts where you don't really get normally hurricanes and some of you love to watch that content. And so I am here providing it for you. Also, Lexi is here. Um, we're not evacuating, it's just a tropical storm. We've been having a lot of severe weather, so we're not too worried about it. We did get some water yesterday, but we are now about to leave to go check the storm surge, and then we are gonna go get some batteries. Go subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I knew she was gonna say that. Okay, so without further ado, let's roll the tropical storm vlog. Hey guys, I don't even know if you can see me right now, but um, we are starting to get some bands of the tropical storms. Um, and so before it really hits and we're not going to be able to go to the house, I'm walking Isabel, um, our little chihuahua. Um, so she can get some exercise in and won't be stuck in the house the whole time. Um, but yeah, it is raining. That's why I have a hood on. And my camera is foggy because it's so humid because of... The, the storm so I'm gonna put my phone away so it doesn't get wet and yeah okay guys so I took a shower I eat dinner um, and now we are on our way <laughs> We are on our way back to the beach to see um, how bad the storm surge is. Um, the winds have been kicking up. We are getting 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts now, so tropical storm strength. Um, so the waves should look uh, a little bit worse, so yeah. I had to cut most of the audio out because of the wind um, but one of the weirdest things you guys about this storm was it didn't actually form into a tropical storm Claudette until like 4 or 5 in the morning and that was because of the amount of wind shear it was getting and it, we've never had a tropical storm I don't think since I've been alive turn into a tropical storm over land and the reason why it did that is because we had gotten so much rain the days before that um, it was almost like it was over water because all the moisture in the ground made it form into a tropical storm so I thought that was pretty cool um, but yeah I just picked your name on the cup but a stroke of luck the car just messed up and gave your cup
Okay, guys, so I know I look a little crazy. Um, it's fine though. Um, so we got back from the beach about an hour ago. It's almost 9 p.m. Um, the worst part of this tropical cyclone is gonna be here around 12 to 1 a.m. They don't know if how accurate their our radars are gonna be because it is moving pretty fast, uh, 16 miles an hour. Um, which is Oh, they're saying that um, it's very likely for it to produce tornadoes. So that's the rain and the wind um, is the biggest threat because our road floods very easily since we do live near a beach, a block from the beach. Um, so yeah, I will keep you up guys updated before the very bad part gets here. All right guys, so it is around 9.03 p.m. and the wind has picked up quite a bit raining quite a bit uh the street isn't flooding yet thank god but it will most likely flood you can already see debris over there hold on I I win. um but yeah the wind is probably around 35 40 miles an hour right now with the gust um so i will got keep you guys updated i will probably come back out here in an hour um and do a little update sorry the, the wind is more funny um, but yeah, I'm trying to like cover the microphone so you guys don't, you can hear me, but yeah. Also, guys, because of, due to Hurricane Zeta last year, um, if you did not see that video, go watch it. I think I gave a pretty good angle on what it was like to write out a Category 3 hurricane. Um, anyways, Hurricane Zeta did break the seals on my window. So now whenever we get like severe thunderstorms or tropical, sto tropical storms, water does push in through my window. So I had to put a towel down and hopefully if we do get debris flying from tornadoes or straight line winds, it won't push water or it won't break my window. Hopefully that's the plan. Um, but yeah, I will update you guys in the next hour. I will go outside and I will let you guys hear the wind again. Um, but yeah. Also, also, our road is now starting to flood, um, we, it's like coming up our driveway a little bit, um, but yeah, that's all it is, it's not too bad, um, I'm sure it will be a lot more flooded in the next hour, so I will show you guys, definitely. You guys, sorry if you can hear my sister yelling, she's doing something with her friend, um, but I am watching the weather. They're doing an update. The millibars, I think I just saw something where they are dropping. So it means the hurricane, or I said hurricane. The tropical cyclone is, um, the winds are getting stronger. And they are also seeing rotation um, just off the coast, which is probably water spouts. Um, and it's just going to get worse. So I'll keep you guys updated. Okay. Okay guys, so back with my meteorology <laughs> report. Uh, gusts are hitting uh, around 40 miles an hour now. Got a meteorologist over here? Um, around at 3 to 1 to 3 a.m. The gusts will be around 50 to 53 miles an hour. Um, it's not really raining. I mean it is. It's, it's raining hard. It's just the wind is picking it's up. It's cold. Here we go. The gusts are That's probably like 20 miles an hour. And my mom just turned out the light on the floor. <laughs> I definitely need to do with the weather report, but... So, uh, meteorologist Haley, what else you gotta say? Okay guys, so, um, the wind is obviously picking up, um, it's really starting to shake my window and wall, um, the TV just went out, so I don't even know if there's a tornado or not, I did hear something, like, it could have been the wind roaring, but it did sound like a bit like a train, and that's usually when a tornado, um, or circulation is forming um but yeah it the worst of it is yet to come it's only i think 10 10 30 and it's supposed to start getting bad in about an hour so yeah okay guys so i'm editing this video um i actually wanted to come in and say this real quick Unfortunately, 14 or 15 people were killed during Tropical Storm Claudette, and I know my limits. If you are in a tropical storm, do not go outside, okay? 
I have done this multiple times. I'm not a professional, but I know my limits and I know when things get dangerous to come back inside. Um, and that was so stupid of me to go outside because my dog needed to go out to the bathroom. Um, and that roaring that I heard was actually a tornado and it was a couple of streets over. And I was so stupid to go outside, but at least I've learned and I know how to be better and yeah, so please don't go outside. Don't do what I did. Hey guys, um, I'm trying to be a little quiet because my dad is sleeping, but um, the walls to our house <laughs> um, are starting to shake. Um, TV and power has been on and off flickering. Um, street lights have been flickering. Um, they did spot a water spout just south of where I'm at. Um, so we are keeping a watch to make sure we take cover when the tornadoes do um, circulate up. So yeah, it's about 11.15 right now. Um, and so the worst part is just getting here and I cannot go outside because there is a water spout. So I'm not going outside yet. Okay guys, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm trying to block most of the wind out. Um, it has definitely, the conditions have deteriorated, um, we are having straight line winds coming that way, um, wow, oh wow that wind, okay, um, I'm trying to show you over here real quick. This is the worst part of the storm, guys, and this is going to continue for about two to three more hours, just like this. And the road right there is starting to flood. Um, they usually open their gates down there, so all the storm surge pushes back here, so we will be seeing that very soon. Oh, there's more straight line winds. You see it, guys? You can throw the 40 to 45 mile an hour winds in there, guys. There is a tornado northwest of us, and then there is a water spout that, if it doesn't dissipate, it will come through um, us and head northwest. Um, but it's a little farther out on the water, and so we're hoping by the time it gets here, it'll be dissipated, but yeah. Okay guys, so there has been about three tornadoes around us, and in the last 10 to 15 minutes, there have been five new water spouts um, in the water, um, and it's gonna get worse, so I think I am going to try and rest and before the bad stuff gets here, because... We don't know how bad it's gonna be and we're probably gonna end up in the bathroom um, because that's literally the safest part of our house so yeah good morning you guys I know I look crazy but we did not lose power thank god because the lights outside were flickering but we didn't lose power um, last night um, there were about five tornadoes and about six or seven water spouts and a bunch of straight line winds we had um winds up to i think 55 miles an hour last night and it they did upgrade it to a tropical storm so we did get tropical storm claudette we were hit by tropical storm claudette um and we just ate breakfast so i am going to go get dressed and we are going to go to the beach and see if we can see any damage um there have been a lot of tornado damage um i think one did go over our house last night but it wasn't that bad it's still really windy um so yeah let's go to the beach all right guys so you can see the leaves were blowing there's a couple branches over there um if we walk out earlier you can see the water line um that part 
there this is where it flooded all the way to the middle of the street so both sides so our our yard was uh pretty much flooded um but it didn't get in our house so that's good and the towel also helped um with my window because we did have straight line winds so the rain was blowing but since i put the towel in there uh the rain didn't get there so yeah we are also taking our big old toyota sequoia um because it is up higher and if we do encounter floodwaters we will be fine we could drive through it also um if there are um, our nails and stuff we should be fine so yeah all right guys so that was flooded right there So a couple piers didn't survive because um, the storm surge pushed a lot of debris up. So you're about to see all that debris in a couple of seconds. But there was a ton after the storm and we were still getting outer bands. So. Okay guys, so we just picked up Lexi's friend, um, we are going to, are y'all done? We're gonna go to another, um, another beach after we are done eating lunch, but we just lost power, we had a power surge, which is so weird because it, it didn't happen during the storm, but it happened after, it's like, just doesn't make any sense, anyway. Okay guys, we're getting an outer band, um, tropical storm Claudette. We're gonna be going over a bridge, so it's probably gonna get harder. Think, Robert? But it's still pretty windy. The traffic. Okay guys, so I basically had to cut out the audio for this clip because it was so windy, but that's basically what I'm explaining. I'm explaining how the clouds are looking really weird and that it's windy and the storm surge has gone down in this part, so yeah.
So there wasn't too much damage right here. Um, towards the beach, there was just debris, but a couple of palm trees didn't survive, like that poor little one. But yeah. I just picked your name on the coffee cup. What is talk of luck? The guy just messed up and gave your cup to me. Cups. And after a while, I was wrapping a glance 